What's up guys, Joey here of Fugatech, and this is gonna be our comparison review of two Snapdragon 660 powered smartphones. Of course, the Redmi Note 7 and the Asus Zenfone Max Pro M2. So it's actually been quite a while already since Xiaomi released the Redmi Note 7, and until now, we still can't get over it. But you know, another thing we can't get over either is last year's Asus Zenfone Max Pro M2, the battery king. With the same chipset and their own respective defining features, let's see which two of these phones stands out the most. So to start, let's talk about design. Obviously, these phones don't totally look the same. First of all, the Max Pro M2 has last year's slightly bigger notch, having space for the notification LED, a 13 megapixel selfie camera, and other sensors. While the Redmi Note 7 has a water drop notch for its 13 megapixel front camera. They both look very premium and high quality with their shiny backs. Although take note that the Max Pro M2 has a 3D glossy polycarbonate finish, while the Redmi Note 7 actually uses real glass. This makes the Max Pro M2 lighter and more durable, but also the Redmi Note 7 looks a little bit more premium. Both phones still have a 3.5mm audio jack, and at the back, they both have fingerprint scanners. But the Redmi Note 7 sports a USB Type-C port compared to the Max Pro M2's micro USB. And I know that for most of you guys, this really matters. But we'll get to battery later on. Both phones come in different colors. For the Redmi Note 7, you can choose from black, twilight gold, and blue gradient, which is the one we have. And for the Max Pro M2, it's either cosmic titanium or midnight blue. If you're wondering, yes, they both do come with a free jelly case. Again, let me just clarify, that we do all have our own personal preferences when it comes to design. But for us, we kind of prefer the Redmi Note 7 better. It just looks more stunning with its real glass back, tinier notch, and flashier colors. Now, let's head to display. Both devices are honestly about at the same level of viewing experience with the 6.3 inch screens at Full HD Plus resolution. They both have good colors, contrast, and viewing angles, even under direct sunlight, brightness is good for both. However, things are different when it comes to screen protection. Protecting the Redmi Note 7 is Corning Gorilla Glass 5, which is great, but on the other hand, the Max Pro M2 has Gorilla Glass 6, which is said to be able to withstand up to two times as many drops as Gorilla Glass 5. So yeah, that's plus points for the Max Pro M2. So for display, you know, quality is really good on both, so it's a matter of, do you want a smaller notch? Or do you want better protection with Gorilla Glass 6? And since this is a comparison involving the Zenfone Max Pro M2, we gotta talk battery. When it comes to this, it's a matter of two things. Do you need longer battery life or better fast charging capabilities? We already know that Asus Zenfone Max series is known for its huge battery and the Max Pro M2 is definitely no exception with its 5000 mAh capacity. The Redmi Note 7 on the other hand has a 4000 mAh battery. In our video loop test, which involves playing a 1080p movie at 50% brightness, 50% volume, with earphones plugged in, airplane mode turned on, the Redmi Note 7 got 14 hours and 51 minutes, while the Max Pro M2 lasted longer at 16 hours and 30 minutes. For charging, the Redmi Note 7 supports Quick Charge 4.0, while the Max Pro M2 only supports regular charging up to 10 watts. So really, it's up to what you need the most. Personally, I'm gonna choose the Max Pro M2 here because I can manage the average charging time as long as the battery can last me longer. Now heading to software, you get stock Android Oreo for the Max Pro M2 and MIUI 10 based on Android Pie for the Redmi Note 7. This isn't too much of a big deal because anytime soon, Asus is expected to roll out an Android Pie update, but of course, it's always good to have the latest Android version out of the box. But also take note that, like our unit, if you decide to get a Redmi Note 7 now, we still have the Chinese ROM, which still has limited Google support and a ton of bloatware. So as far as skins go, basically, it's a matter of Chinese MIUI versus a stock Android experience, which I personally prefer. Now for performance, both devices are powered by a Snapdragon 660 chipset with an Adreno 512 GPU. Our Redmi Note 7 has 4GB of RAM paired with 64GB of storage, while the Max Pro M2 unit we have 
has 6 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage. Performance-wise, the Redmi Note 7 comes out on top since the Max Pro M2 has an underclock processor. This was evident in our episode of Kenneth Game for the Redmi Note 7 where it outperformed the Max Pro M2 in key benchmarks. In terms of gaming though, both can handle moderate to heavy graphics games with ease with good stability. Moving on, let's head to the cameras. So as we know, the Redmi Note 7 has a 48 megapixel Samsung GM1 sensor for one of its rear cameras while the Max Pro M2's main rear camera is a 12 megapixel Sony IMX486. The Redmi Note 7's rear camera is still really good even with the 48 megapixel setting turned off as we saw in our previous camera review. So for this comparison, we're keeping it turned off as well. It's also to even the playing field a little bit since the Max Pro M2 doesn't have that capability. So for our first set of photos, starting with selfies without portrait or beauty mode on, the Redmi Note 7 shot looks visibly brighter than the Max Pro M2's, but it's worth noting that it still looks like it has beauty filters even if it doesn't. It seems to produce more accurate, natural colors and contrast. For portrait mode, it's almost the same except we get more and arguably nicer blur with the Redmi Note 7. In this set of photos taken with the rear cameras, it really shows that the Redmi Note 7's post-processing is a little bit more aggressive. We get a brighter photo here while the Max Pro M2 gives a more natural look. Although in this one, it looks kind of bluish. Meanwhile, in these shots of AJ, we get deeper, more natural colors from the Max Pro M2. But taking a closer look at her hair, you'll see that the Redmi Note 7 really does provide more detail and dynamic range. So for cameras, we're giving it the Redmi Note 7 for producing more detailed photos with great dynamic range, but actually it only barely wins. The Max Pro M2's camera can keep up with it, especially when it comes to producing better, more natural colors, which some can argue can be more important than the amount of detail. Now that we have pretty much everything laid out, let's talk about the price. So even if the Redmi Note 7 has no official price yet in the Philippines, it's still expected that it will come with a cheaper price tag than the Max Pro M2. So the Max Pro M2 is available for 12,995 pesos for the 4GB RAM version, and 14,995 pesos for the 6 gig RAM variant. And as we've mentioned, we don't officially know yet how much the Redmi Note 7 will cost in the Philippines or if it'll even be officially available. But based on its prices in China, it'll probably be around 8,000 to 11,000 pesos. Now in this comparison, we're a little bit 50-50 between the Note 7 and the Max Pro M2 because they excel in different categories. Yet, you can still get almost the same raw performance and you can get great photos with both devices. However, when it comes down to it, I'm going for the Redmi Note 7. But not only because of its cheaper price, you got USB Type-C, quick charging 4.0, and Android Pie out of the box. The battery isn't as big, but it's big enough for most. And for cameras, it's slightly better. But you know, the Max Pro M2 on the other hand, it's not bad at all. If you really want it, then why not? It's a tougher phone because of that Gorilla Glass 6. It's got stock Android, which I love and has a larger battery capacity. So what do you think, guys? Redmi Note 7 or Asus Zenfone Max Pro M2? Which one is your pick? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please do give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for more content. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. And be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Joey, and I'll see you guys in the next one.